Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. So I'm just cracking on with some more videos to help people set up their HOTAS or their, their joystick. Um, so today we're looking at the P51D. It's a pretty simple plane to set up. I just set up, I'm just going to show you how to set up the skeleton controls basically so you can fly and fire guns and drop bombs and if you want to add anything else then you can do that basically. Um, what I say is if you own lots of planes, uh, like I do all these planes down here, then try and set all of your planes, your controls up on your HOTAS as similar as you possibly can. So if you've got one for wheels in, wheels out, or wheel brake or something, always make sure it's the same button that you use for each plane uh, for easier learning. I'm going to show you how I bind it to my uh, SciTech X56 uh, HOTAS. You will probably have a different HOTAS to that. Um, but uh, all of the HOTASs are set out relatively similarly so as I bind controls I'll sh explain where it is I'm locating it on the HOTAS and you can set up something similar to me if you want. Uh, it'll also help if you're going to watch the tutorial videos that uh, I do um, it'll help if you have the buttons set up the same as me. Okay so let's crack on into options from main menu controls this menu here P51 sim Okay, and the first thing we always start with is axis commands. Okay, I'm going to scroll down. Now I've already got my axis command set up here because obviously I've got the, the, this aircraft set up, so we're just going to essentially tape over the top of them. Right, and we start always with zoom view. This allows you to zoom in and out while looking through your cockpit glass, and it's something that you should have. Very hard to fly without it. Uh, I've got a turny knob on the top right of my left host house on my thrust stick. Uh, so I'm going to double click, oh I should explain, here is a column for the action, here is which category it belongs in, here is the keyboard binding we've got set to that action, here is the left part of the HOTAS, and here is the right part of the HOTAS. Okay? Uh, so we're going to double click on the left part of the HOTAS, and there's a turning knob, I'm going to turn it fully right and fully left, and there we go, that sets it, okay, just test it, make sure it's picked it up okay, and there we go. Okay, throttle, it's just got one throttle control, it's just got one engine, so we're going to click on here, and then we're going to move the thrust lever on the left, HOTAS completely forward, completely backwards, okay, it's picked up Joy X, test it, I'm going to do that again because it's picked up two for some reason, so let's clear that, let's try again, Joy X, test it, lovely. Uh, next we're going to have the rudder, we're going to move over to the right side of the HOTAS, so we're going to double click there. We're going to, um, you may have pedals, in which case you'll use your pedals, I don't have pedals, I have a twist on my right stick, so I'm going to twist it left, twist it right, OK, test it, OK. Axis tune, uh, because rudder, uh, roll and pitch, we want to do an axis tune on that, so I'm going to click axis tune while we've got it highlighted. First thing we can see is that the movement dot, which is the red dot, is outside of the black square. That's bad. Um, what we want to do then is increase the dead zone until that uh, movement uh, dot there is within uh, this uh, horizontal line that we create. That means that when the stick is in its neutral position, as it is now, it will not give any rudder input. Okay? Why is it like that? It's just because the stick is old and worn out a bit. Okay? Hint, hint. Someone buy me a new stick. Just kidding. Um, curvature, uh, for now I'm just going to stick add curvature on, so these three commands all want curvature adding to them, um, and um, the, uh, my personal choice is 25 at the moment, uh, basically it allows us, it gives us a bit more resolution um, around the smaller movements of the stick, uh, whoops, like that, and lesser resolution up here in the higher movements, it just gives us a bit more fine control around the small movements basically. So if you want to do formation flying, things like that, it's, uh, it's something you have to have. Okay, okay there, that's to roll, control stick fully left, control stick fully right, it's got joy X, test, lovely, axis tune, don't need any dead zone, it's already in the centre, so curvature 25 will do for now. I keep all of my planes at curvature 25 just so I can keep them all the same basically. Uh, that seems to be a good thing to do. Pitch, double click, stick fully forward, stick fully back. OK, test. OK, axis tune. Dead zone, don't really need it, it's not, it's not out of the box enough to worry about that. A uh, bit of curvature, 25 and we're done. Okay, now let's do the controls on the left side of the HOTAS that are not access command, so we're going to go to search here. 
first thing I'm going to do is snap view. Uh, snap view 5 I like to use. In a dogfight, it zooms you into your hard or your gun sight. It's just something I like to have personally. I've got my left toe test on a button that's on the front of the uh, uh, throttle control. And there it is, number 5. Next, we're going to have flaps. And I've got a button that I set for a two-way switch that I set for all of my flaps and all of my airplanes. So, down, I want it in that position. Okay. And up, I want it in that position. Okay. Okay. Next, I want my gear up and down. So, let's type gear in. Oopsie. And so, we've got... Uh, what have we got? Okay, we don't have up and down per se. But we do have a toggle. Uh, one button between up and down. So it's a two-way switch again, so just to keep it safe, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to bind the up, if I can get it right, the up side of that switch and the down side of that switch. Uh, so if I press up or down, it will just toggle up or down. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, that is everything I want on my left hook test, apart from auto start. So uh, auto start's useful if you want to set your plane starting. It's known as a cheat, it's very unpopular. Um, and go make a cup of tea or something. I'm going to set it to an iron switch on the base of my left hotest. Auto start iron switch there. And there's going to be an auto stop as well. There. Right, that is the left hotest done. Uh, left side of the hotest done. Let's go and do the right side. So we're going to start with trigger one and we're going to do uh, firing the machine guns. We're going to go fire. Oh, I should say to do this I'm going up here I'm going to search and I'm deleting that and typing what I want in okay uh, fire gun um, right side of the hotas trigger one okay uh, now set trigger two as weapon release for the bombs type in here release there it is weapon release right hotas trigger two next we're going to set the trim so in here trim aileron I don't uh, set the rudder for planes where I've got aileron so I'm just gonna go aileron left and it's a four-way hat switch I've got on the top right of my hotas so I'm gonna go to the left side of that hat switch gonna go right side of that hat switch gonna go down on that hat switch and gonna go up on the hat switch Bosch done that um, what else have we got? Oh, we've got one more, which is the wheel brakes. So, wheel, type in there. Uh, I'm going to go wheel park in both. I've just realised uh, I've missed something. I've got to set wheel brake left and right up, so we'll go and do that in a second. Um, right, what was I about to do? Uh, so, wheel brake in both. This is a button on the front, uh, bottom of my right control stick there that I use for all of my, my wheel brakes so that's for braking for both wheels if you want to turn this aircraft around while taxiing you have to use left wheel brake and right wheel brake um, so we're going to go set those up um, there's all sorts of places I could have that but I'm going to particularly choose um, on my left hotess again on the base of the hotess at the bottom left I've got a couple of irons which is I like to use uh, for differential braking on the left I'm going to use the one on the left whoops sorry I pressed that wrong Try that again, shall we? On the left, okay, and for the right wheel brake, I'm gonna do the one on the right. And why not add some extra commands for this, uh, just in case I fail to use that. Um, on the For the same command, I'm gonna use the right stick. I've got a, another four-way switch that I can use up on the bottom right of the top area of the right stick. Um, and I can go left on that hat switch and I can go right on the hat switch. That was probably a better idea than the other way. Okay, and then okay. Okay, that set the base skeleton controls up to drive the plane, fire the weapons, drop the bombs and stuff like that. Like I said, you can add stuff like safety, gun safety, stuff like that if you want, but that is just how I get it up and flying. Right, I hope that helps and I'll see you later.